Well, so this was an interesting study uh, in advanced renal cell carcinoma. So it's a phase one, phase two study of pazopinib, which is the standard first line treatment of VEGF tyrosine kinase inhibitor with pembrolizumab, a well-established uh, checkpoint inhibitor. And the, the aim behind this was basically, although pazopinib is an active drug in the first line setting, men, uh, patients with uh, advanced renal cell carcinoma, uh, still a lethal illness with no overall survival of three years. So we're looking at how we can improve that. And with immunotherapy, with nivolumab being licensed um, uh, post VEGF tyrosine kinase inhibitors, we thought the combination was a very, had a strong biological and clinical rationale. So the study was looking at uh, initially at two cohorts. Uh, the first cohort was 800 milligrams per meter, 800 milligrams of pazopinib with uh, a standard uh, three weekly regimen of pembrolizumab. The second was looking at 600 milligrams of, of pazopinib with a three weekly regimen of pembrolizumab. Um, Although we saw some promising potential early efficacy with this, unfortunately we saw a, a high amount of dose limiting toxicities, particularly hepatotoxicity, and some quite marked hepatotoxicity. So having reviewed the data on those, on those 20 patients, 10 in each cohort, uh, we decided that it wasn't safe to take that combination forward. However, we felt that these are two active drugs in this disease. We wanted to see is there another way that we could, that we could overcome this without abandoning potentially a, a therapeutic option. And so we developed a run-in period of nine weeks on pazopinib, the aim being that we would exclude any patients who developed uh, significant adverse events, particularly hepatotoxicity. Um, Unfortunately, it was difficult that run-in period. We had 21 patients, and the majority of them dropped out because of uh, because of potential side effects. So we had seven who went into the into the sequent into the combination part after that run-in period, and of the first five, we had three dose-limiting toxicities, not hepatotoxicity. Interestingly enough, other toxicities such as bowel perforation, pneumonitis, and increase in lipase uh, levels. But uh, after those uh, patients, we decided that uh, this combination shouldn't be taken forward due to that toxicity and we won't be developing the, the combination any further.